The tension is palpable and you can understand why. Two high-level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up. It's Villarreal and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. Hello everyone, ahead of the action and we're certainly looking forward to it here at the Estadio de la Ceramica. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Villarreal facing Barcelona. Well, thanks, Derek. After their start to the season, these fans will be fairly happy, I think. They've looked fit, they've looked well organised and they've been good going forward. They'll certainly be hard to beat today. Oh, he saved it well. They take it short. And they need to get tighter. Now, who can he pick out? Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Has a go. And keeping it out. And a short corner, let's see. And he cuts inside. Well, a decent effort, but not quite on the target. You can't really discuss impact players without discussing Robert Lewandowski. Well, Derek, we know he can be subtle, he can be clever, but his greatest strength is his power when he's shooting. He's a tremendous striker of the ball, and he makes it really difficult for goalkeepers. Raul Albiol. And here's Gerard Moreno. And it's Barcelona's turn now. Options in the centre. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Moreno. Moreno. Can he put them in front? But it was a wonderful chance. But the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper. But surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Well, for Villarreal, it really was a fine performance and a magnificent result in the last game against Mallorca. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, what a good 2-0 win that was, particularly away from home. However, I can't see a repeat of that result today. I've got a feeling... Oh, they might stop. score here, Stuart. Oh, a smart stop. Kunde. Hakimi. Here's Rafinha. Rafinha. Gabi. Determined defending. Well, there it is. Villarreal have had a lot of the ball in the last 15 minutes and they're playing really well and creating chances. But short... Can't miss, surely! And it's come off the keeper. Well, they can bring it out now. Hakimi are pressing really high and out for what will be a Villarreal throw Alberto Moreno now Parejo setting off perhaps a little bit too much here a very timely interception Hakimi. And they have possession again. And teammates around him. Can he give them the lead? And there it is! The opening goal! 1-0 and they'll feel they deserve it!
Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. The ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Well, beating his opponent. Well, you have to say he's going to be very cross with himself. He'll certainly be disappointed with that. That was a poor effort. Well, good effective pressure. Marcus Rashford. It's with Joao Cancelo. Delivering it into the box. Oh, such an elegant finish! How about that on the volley? A brilliant strike, whatever way you look at it. Well, here it is again. Cancelo's cross really does invite someone to attack it, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Chances on. And the keeper has possession of it. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Moreno. Fight. Well, there it is, the referee's whistle, and that closes the book on the first half here in Villarreal. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. He's really dominating in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, I think he's been outstanding so far. He's looked a constant threat, and he's scored a very good goal. What a player he is. So back underway here into the second half. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. Barcelona a little wasteful in possession. Well, a really good run. Kunde now with Akimi. Well, transfer news for Arsenal supporters. It appears they've got their man, Stuart. Well, the figure quoted is around £25 million, and that for me is money well spent because he has great ability and he's got a good attitude as well. Now Lewandowski carries the ball forward, but can he produce from this position? Just needs to get rid of it. And in! Oh yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. His team have been really poor today. Well, the ball is moving again, and Barcelona really cantering to victory now. Making a bit of headway. An alert piece of defending.
Romeu. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more live La Liga action for you to look forward to. It's Villarreal, and they'll be taking on Cadiz. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Moreno. On to Parejo. Oh, a brilliantly timed tackle when it really mattered. Gundogan. Barca now, it's a sector of the pitch devoid of defenders. It should be. Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. Well, pressing really high. And showing the importance of wit. Coquelin. Moreno. Now with Coquelin. And here's opportunity. Moreno. What a commitment to defending. Well, they are committed to making this. Substitution here. Both substitutes have been getting ready will come on at the same time. Well, the short corner routine. Giving them a different option by moving in field. But timely defending when it mattered. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Another La Liga treat in store for you soon on EA TV. It's Barcelona and they'll be up against Osasuna. Just 15 minutes remaining. Suarez, genuine chance, and there is the goal! He's found the net, joy unconfined! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So back underway at 3-1. Well, I must say, no shortage of space for Barcelona. Crossing possibilities. Rashford. And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Well, they're going for the short one. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And the Villarreal throw coming up. Jeremy. Now Coquelin. An awful lot of green space to run into. Crossing into the middle. Well, not quite the cross he was hoping for. Hakimi. And the ball with Christensen. Pedri. Well, high quality defending. What can he do with it now? Coquelin, can he get one back? In it goes! It looked as though they were down and out. Not a bit of it. What will happen next?
Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. It is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Hey, the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Well, keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. Really good build-up, but no end product. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, it certainly wasn't a good display today. They were second best in certain areas of the pitch. But overall, I think they are just about where they expected to be after three games. This performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he should be happy with his goal and the win but he'd be slightly annoyed that he hasn't scored a couple more. Overall, though, I thought he was excellent. Le agradecemos su atención, así como que haya aceptado contestar a estas preguntas. Gracias, de verdad. 